you've been eating couscous from an aluminum cooker too long. Too long. <laughs> and where does that leave me? Fierce, the faithful retainer who has lived in this mansion with the sisters for how many hundreds? How many hundreds? You must control yourself as I do, Olga. You must fight for your sanity. Struggle to see what is going on around you. Too long have you listened to the bad advice of your quarreling sisters, but I listen. I clean the samovar, I empty the ashtrays, I keep my eyes and ears open and say little. But now you have gone too far, Olga Olgulalovich, to plan for your son Vaslov's return. You've gone too far. Many little white jackets, Olga. But it is not faithful Fierce's place to say anything. Do you hear your alert, guardian? I will not taunt you. I tell you the truth. Do not ignore me. I warn you by all the fruit in the orchard that you must not challenge the gods. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Fierce. Fierce, you see me to my very soul. I wish you didn't. You know too much. Yours is the wisdom of the wily woodland peasant from Chernobyl. <laughs> but be gentle with your advice. You speak too painfully to me. Remember who I am. Not the little girl you bounced on your knee and diddled when I was young. <laughs> I am Olga Pluchinskaya, the greatest actress of the 60s. And the 70s. Ah. I was the foremost actress of the Bolshevoy Conservatorium of Minsk. <laughs> no one remembers anymore, I know. But what can I? I was the star, and that's all that matters. I was the best. Of course, I had my rivals, and they were good. But no one could top my Ekaterina, my dying swan, my Rapunzel, my Nina, my Pinta, <laughs> my Santa Cecilia. All in the past, long ago, even to me, who have seen generations of men go in this house. Do you remember the command performance in Gay Paris? Oh, those were the days. Yes. No, that her imperial majesty canceled at the last minute you were crushed. I had to console you. And the award ceremony where I got the purple sash of success. <laughs> <laughs> where is it, Pierce? I should wear it for Vosloff's return. You are cruising for bruising, my mistress. You should live that. Let live and live one day at a time. And you should cut down your intake of goat curds, Fierce. Then maybe you'd be more like the rest of us. Does it not matter to you that all your friends are gone? That you alone are still here rubbing the walls with patchouli oil on Sunday and hopping the stairs? We are both relics, Fierce, you and I. But you make me look like a babe in the woods. You should be gone. You should have departed when the great geniuses of your generation swooped off to the great unknown. But no, you must stay here to make my days miserable with your whining and kvetching about everything and nothing. Hark! Hark! The sound of sobbing emanates from the upper rooms. Could it be young Ward Nina has begun her nightly wanderings about the hallowed halls. <laughs> fierce, fierce, take that away from her before she hurts herself. Where are Masha, Irina, and Maud? All they have to do in this world is to guard Nina from her baser inclinations. But they fail. They shirk their duties. They are good for nothing anymore. They cannot even stop arguing long enough to babysit the ward. Do not rouse your ire. Oh, God, Fuchin, Skyovich, or your temper will flare and you will regret. Hush, hush, little Nina, don't cry. 
Oh, you are so innocent, io innocente. Look at that lovely face. Why should anyone have to suffer like that? Oh, Nina, Nina. Sometimes I think the whole world should just up and drop dead. Yes, I do. That's what I think. <laughs> now, I, I have no bones to pick with anyone, Nina. I just happen to think there are two kinds of people in this world. People like myself and assholes. Ah! <laughs> yes, fears assholes. I got one, you got one too, whether you want to admit it or not. And let me remind you that your lovely pink mouth, tinted with the fermented juice of tender beeble berries, is a sphincter muscle too, so you can do more than eat with it, I do assure you. Madam, I'm shocked. Nice women don't say such things. Nice women don't go on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, forgive me, forgive me, fears. My nerves are strained. I am impatient even with the little bunny rabbits and their hutches in the back. Hippity hop, hippity hop, hippity hop. I hear them, the little buggers, all night long. Ah. Oh, Fah, don't listen, that's peasant talk. Ah. It's Vaslav's return that makes you so nervous, and well, it should. What are you saying, Fiers? Do you dare to remind me of your sordid opinions? Vaslav is my son, my joy, the light of my life, my reason for living. You would do well to never think of him again. I will pray to the Holy Imperial Virgin. Her Majesty Mary of Varnishikov, the Immaculate Conceiver, who intercedes for us with the Lord, and hope to hear only that he is gone, never to return again. Pray all you want, peasant, and still he will return. You see, medical school in Ivanovichville is difficult and time-consuming. That is why I have received no letter. No word to ease my mind of its wanderings and sufferings. He has forgotten you, this son of yours. No, no! How can you stab a mother in the heart? I know he's coming back. He loves me. He needs me. And I dreaded his funeral. It rained. Olga did not cry, did you, dear? I cried. We three devoted <laughs> sisters did cry our eyes out. My shoes were ruined. It was a miserable affair. Why oh, think of such things, Arena? I left out of bed this morning early. Saw the sunlight. So that summer it was finally here. Oh, my heart fluttered with joy. And I longed so to return to Petersburg again. Oh, I think of such things, Maud. <laughs> oh, how I long to return to the past. Everything as it was. And no sorrow, no remorse to drown in here in this empty mansion in the Chachenko woods. Stop this incessant <laughs> chattering, ye sisters. <laughs> Let us busy ourselves with finer things. Today, Vaslav will return, and we must make him welcome. Vaslav is coming back? Oh, no. <laughs> Vaslav will return to pick us to Peter's board. Ah, yes. <laughs> Vaslav will never return, Olga. Do not get your hopes up too high. He was never a good son. And he has not written in the ten years he has been gone. Fuck off. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Soon lose this house and the orchard 
and the tiny rabbit clutches in the rear. Oh, quiet, Irina. Ah! Hush, Maud. Do not try to write the future before it happens. Vaslov will come back or not. No one can tell which end it will be. Vaslov is a good son. I know he's coming back. Back to comfort his mother and to save our estate. O oh, ye of little faith, do not doubt my premonition. A son needs his mother. Vostok Ilovsky, do not forsake me. Little will of the wisp, keep on the pathway you have chosen here to your mother's arms. Foolish woman, dreamer of barren dreams, tell me, where is your husband first and then your Son. Do not taunt me, old one. No husband. You no know, job. I'm getting a headache. Masha, make Olga stop her sad dreaming. Oh, how exciting. Olga and Fierce are up again. Hush, hush, sweet sisters. Let Olga have her dreams. Her dreams are real. Yes, of course they are, Bubula. Do not condescend to me, Masha. Of course you Dreams are real, Olga, and pigs have wings to fly, the leaping porkers. <laughs> oh, Masha, you are so cruel. Give it to the old girl, Ghoul to Mashinsky. Hush, both of you. Olga and I understand one another. Idle arguing in a house of unfulfilled dreams and desires. Clutching her robes awry and muttering. Succedio in questi fieri momenti. Tu sol mi resti e il cor mi tenti. Russian in Russian, please. Fast love. My love, in this traumatic moment of your return, you alone mean anything to me. You alone tempt me to fulfill my destiny. The slit wrist, the arteries torn. <laughs> my arteries, my last will and testament, the stations of the cross. Oh, oh, once upon a time, in, in the, the beginning. beginning. The hours flew gaily by, and I was happy just to be at Vaslov's side. Lost now, my love. He has gone to someone else, methinks. I sink demented in the darkness. I am reaching the end. I ask only of the Orthodox Russian heavens to let me sleep quietly in the grave deep within our Russian soil, so brown and filled with slimy Russian slugs. <laughs> Vaslov has forsaken me. He will never return. What a quiet this is, Nina. Keep your paranoias to yourself, girl. Now I know that Vaslov will return. I know it, I know it, I know it. You want to know how I know it? I sit in this house and I listen. I listen for the sound of Vaslov returning. Drop, drop, I hear his horse. Clip, clip, I hear the hedgerows being ready for Vaslov's return. Drip, drip, I hear fear sniffling in the halls. I wish he'd retire and go to Uranal and live with his aunt. She's old now and needs him. That she's gotten over a hundred years old and the chickens she's got refuse to lay. Auntie needs him now that the chickens refuse to lay. Foul <laughs> situation. Prick, prick. I hear the key turning in the lock. Could it be Vasily Vasilyevich at last? <gasps> Click, clack. Click, clack. The footsteps move away. It was only the slithering loony from the mottled woods who wishes to come in. Lock the door and hide the key. 
The loony comes of quarterly fees. Oh, why did Vostok set out that fine morning one day so long ago never to return? Masha says it was my fault that I drove him from out the massive ebon doors. Carved in the Biedermeyer style, my mother loves so well. <laughs> but it can't be true. I've lived for Vostok. I have tickled his little piggies off to market and made him smile. I have wiped his little snout after a blow. <clears throat> I have sung to him tales of the burnished woods of Stoic Naya. <clears throat> Why? Why does he not come home? Home to the room in blue that he clutched to his bosom so fondly in his youth. Home to the grandfather clock which Aunt Minnie Vexilevich wound so faithfully each day to remind us all that tomorrow is another day. And now it is another day, and Minnie Vexilevich is gone, yet still the clock is wound. Why? Why? Yet now the clock is wound for Vosloff. Come home. Come home. Or stay where you are, far away. Keep the door open to your heart. 
keep the door open, yes, keep the door open. Good fortune is coming, so smile and start humming. And keep the door open to your heart. Throw open the curtains, shake out the welcome mat. Just smile and be certain you're wearing your favorite hat. <laughs> Don't batten the hatches. Don't nail tight the door. Don't secure the latches. Don't pull the rug from the floor. But keep the door open to your heart. Keep the door open. Yes, keep the door open. Good fortune is coming, so smile and start humming. And keep the door open to your heart. You can sleep together and keep each other warm. Now stop! 
just because you work with a man who minds does not mean everything is avant-garde. <laughs> this happens to be Robert Wilson and Anne Bogart. Oh, sure, sure. What's that? Television dancing. Television Nina. dancing. Not Nina. on my stage, you look. Susan, Susan! Susan! Susan. Oh, for God's sakes, H. M. Katukas is here. An expert in the art of acting. Well, he would understand this. He would not. I you agreed, I told you. You said you to do heavy method acting like I'm doing. You examine your nasal. You get very heavy, very serious, very serious. I beg your pardon. That is exactly what I'm doing. Oh, it is not. That's it's not actor studio acting. I'm no actor studio <laughs> acting. <laughs> Stella, Stella. I have never seen Marlon Brando jump about and go, nee, nah, nee, nah, nee, nah, nee, nah. And you have never seen Marlon Brando do Masha from the Three Sisters. No, but I worked with Lois Smith, one of the founders of the Actors Studio. She worked with James Dean. She's up there now and breaks a breath. I worked with her. She never acted crazy like... Actually, she did. Listen, I am playing my intention. <laughs> I want Nina to come out here. She has been pining, yearning. She's slitting her wrists. She's carrying on like this demented, depressed woman because she's yearning for Boslov. Now he's finally here. And where is she? Hiding. Well, she'll be content to hide there for the next 25 years. You know how Russian plays go. <laughs> well, I and my two sisters, Irina and Maud, would like to see her come out here, get into her beloved. He is a smashing figure. I do have to admit that. And then life can return to normal. Normal, normal, yes. Now you're talking. Yes, she even went to our dressmaker. And what does she have done? She doesn't have a morning dress or an afternoon dress or a dinner dress or an evening dress. She has a wedding dress. Doesn't that tell you something? <laughs> Listen, this is based on chapter 22 of An After Prepares. <laughs> I read a book once by Robert Q. Lewis. <laughs> Robert Lewis wrote Method or Madness. Oh, Method or Madness. I read it in high school. That's the one. I read it. I read the very book. <laughs> this is Stanislavski's An Actor Prepares. Oh. Chapter 22. <laughs> he discusses the subconscious. After an actor has done his basic preparation, asking very vital questions. Who am I? What do I want? What do I get? How do, how do I get? How do I get it? How do I get it? Who am I? Where am I? What do I want? And so, <laughs> then comes time to tap into the subconscious so that you lose your self-consciousness, you lose your alter ego, you're able to concentrate purely on the role and live it, as in real life. For the brief few moments you're on stage, it's heaven. <laughs> yes. Now that's what I'm trying to do. Yes, yes. I am trying to get Nina to come out. <coughs> she does not respond to just calling her name. She's a frightened. So I figured that if I just absolutely went out on a limb and created some kind of turmoil out here, she would be curious. She wouldn't be able to stand back. She would suddenly, that where her curiosity would overcome a fright, and she would run out and see Moscow. <laughs> Doesn't Stanislavski talk about how pretty you are on stage and <laughs> how you should worry about your looks and wear lovely costumes? Actually, yes, he, he talks about that, saying that you shouldn't uh, ask yourself stupid questions like, how do I look? Oh! Um, you're supposed to be in your park. How do I look? How am I doing? Is my timing right? Oh. You know, you have to live your part. Oh. Oh. I'm impressed. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> Miss Black Eyed Susan, can you ever forgive me? Shall we get on with it, huh? Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs>
your divine destiny, Nina. Nina? Nina? Nina, get out of here! Reach your beloved! between heaven and hell, a reminder of my age and my failings. A tiny babe wrapped in wee swaddling clothes, me bonny bairn, the perfect part of my best nature, my son. I was told when he was born to throw him back into the Ural from whence he came. I consulted mystic after mystic, cause he never cried, and when he finally spoke, he never called me mama. <laughs> but fierce brought me the family Ouija board. I questioned it. It gave me good advice. And I grew us up from this house. Would <laughs> uh, that I had never listened to fierce. No, oh, would that Masha, Arena, and Maud had never urged me on. Oh, would that. Vossoff and Nina were happily married with nine children they couldn't afford. Fears, bring the family Ouija board. It is time we question the spirits that surround us and find out what it is we must do to keep Vossoff here in the bosom of our home. He comes, it approaches. We demand our query. Ow, 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 please, these shoes hurt in that back. Get off, get off. I'll live, I'll live. <laughs> Dear sisters, draw near, do not be afraid. We will question the spirits. Fine spirits. Lovely spirits that surround us. We must ask them what it is we must do to keep Boslov here by our side. No, no. Yes. Now, yet, uh, yet. No. Oh, not the Ouija. Remember Uncle Veselka who burned his board after being told an evil tale by a spirity petition? <laughs> yes, yes! Stada! Ask many questions. I promise not to cheat and guide the pointer. Who will I marry? Vigi's the prettiest sister. Should I go to the plumber's ball on Saturday beat with shits? <laughs> Be wary of the inanimate object guiding your life and giving you advice. <laughs> Do not trust to a toy to be rational. Better we should invite the old bishop to dinner and plague him with our questions. Hesha, Masha. <laughs> Dim the light. Now, prepare yourself for some serious doings. Irina, Maud, concentrate. <laughs> Faint spirits from beyond the grave, oh, ghosts of our sacred Russian name days. Of the burnished woods. Hear our plea. How shall we keep Boslov here? Uh, it's moving by itself, I tell you. S A C R I M I C E. Sacrifice! Sacrifice! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. She is possessed. <laughs> Sacrifice W. 
you. I don't know any W. You know any W? Ah! 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 Does it hurt? Ooh. Ow! Ow! Ah. Over here, Lord, over here. Ah. Follow the bouncing board. Over here. Hey! W-A, that's not enough. I want more. More, more. Hey, no. R, I see an R. More, more. W-A-R, sacrifice more. Oh. Sacrifice the ward! Bling the sacrificial fowl. No, no, it's not the sacrificial fowl. Speech, Nina, my pet. <laughs> Come closer. Do not be afraid of your Vaslav. I am here now, and your destiny shall surely be fulfilled. Sit still, my friend. Ouch! Vaslav, please stop. Stop what? Nina, Nina, stop. <laughs> stop pinching me. Every time you move near me, you grind my tender flesh between your mighty fingers. My bottom begins to resemble a quilt made from an old army fatigue. Green and blue and yellow. Ouch, stop it! It is only your poor imagination that pinches you. I am not hurting you. Vaslav is your obedient servant and will only do what you bid your lover to do. Ouch! <laughs> what is this on your wrist? An imperfection? 
Take it from my sight. <gasps> Heart must oh, be no. removed. No, no. It's only a little scratch that will heal. Put that thing, that huge tool, back in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Here, take this token from your master to show you how sorry I am to have scared you unnecessarily. <laughs> I love you. Do you hear me? I love you, I love you, I love you. Take me here in the token of its words. Oh. Oh. Moan, moan. Slurp, slurp. Lickety lick. <laughs> clang, clang! Clang, clang! <laughs> this damn chastity belt is all rusty. I told you to cut down on your salt intake during my absence. Really? Mm, it's looking good. <laughs> Twitcher. What do you speak, my love? I understand you not. Enough talk. Prepare yourself for a ramming. No, no. Yes, yes. No, no. Yes, yes. No, no. Yes, yes. All right. Too late. <laughs> Off to the hidden glen, to where we played doctor and nurse as little children. Uh, 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 uh. I'll follow you to the tundras of sudden Siberia. You understand me, Vaslo. You know my needs and respond. I've learned, Ward Nina. I've been around. I've acquired skills. I'm listed in the Guinness Book of Records as a world class lover now. Off to the woods. Yes! Wait! Now crawl. The young will meet in the woods. It has always been, it will always be, till the forests are gone from this world, and every monkey lives in a zoo. You're old, old gun. The woody gardens hold no intrigue for you now. The passing of your youth is over. So comfort yourself with the whirl of hummingbirds in their solarium in the west wing. Fierce takes pride in his breeding of the blue-green hummers, and they are my delight. But something is amiss here. Now that Vostov has returned, I wonder what it is that I have missed so. Sometimes the longing pleases more than the final fruition. Vostov is here. He has come home. And he will stay this time. But he disturbs the house. <laughs> As a child, I was shunted from nursemaid to nursemaid. <laughs> Fierce was my only playmate. And I was told children should be seen and not heard. You acted on the stage and danced and sang. I was denied the pleasure of witnessing your triumphs. You traveled the world while I stayed at home, not knowing who my father was. He was a second-rate Italian poet with pretensions. <laughs> <laughs> not knowing where you were. I was on the road. 
Not knowing. Not knowing. Well, now you know. <laughs> but I will witness your gaudy triumphs now. All that was denied to me as a child will be shown to me now. Even your film that you made for eyes and stack will be shown to me now. For I am the master and will be given my own way. You want to see me act? You want to see me dance? You want to hear me sing? You want to see the film Eisenstadt made? That was years ago. I was young, beautiful. Well, I just happened to have the projector set up. Come on. <laughs> Kaya would never forgive me. She doesn't dance anymore. She got too fat. <laughs> All right, she let out her tutus and she works in clubs. <laughs> what can you say? It's a living. God bless her. She taught me all I know. She taught me when to run. <laughs> no, 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 I won't dance without a full orchestra. I need a full or... Where by George? Right there in the wings is a three-piece ensemble. Margarita, Margarita, Margarita. Well, do something, boss. So I'll clean up the floor. I know you dance for you. I want a clean floor. These shoes hurt enough. I don't want to dance on Nina's rosary. Now get out of here. Play for me. Play, play. Be inspired. Get that rosary out of here.
need another Corrine. Nina, get out here. And a court of LA. Oh, oh Face your arms. Face your little fingers. <laughs> until she pissed on the audience one night. Oh. I didn't mind, I didn't mind. She'd pee on the audience anytime she wants. It was 3.30 in the morning, it was all Euro trash. Yeah. <laughs> but she did it on my line. Yeah. I never forget things like that. <laughs> oh yes, those were the days. We used to have to work hard. Now, I did this piece for a living. I did it at the chandelier. I even did it at the pyramid. It's filth. <laughs> but I thought I'd do it for you again. <laughs> David Ferryinsky, play the tape. <laughs> Come true. Oh! Oh! I don't believe exactly that I'm doing it. 
I walked down so many times in the field when I died. I'm gonna take it all. I'm gonna feel it. I can live on the memory tomorrow. Oh, I'm a pig. I'm a sow. What would my Austrian mother think? Oh, oh, look at that baby's beard, pink and nice and shiny. It's fat and long, full of knots and veins. Oh, yuck. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's gonna hurt. I know it's gonna hurt. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I'll be spit from stem to stern. My salt, my salt. No. No, the No artificial stimuli. Mm, no, no, no. Here we go. I'll take it home. Just like I am. I'm gonna feel it all. Oh, 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 I wonder, can a stuff and stuff have herpes? Oh, paranoia, fear, and shame. Harder, Dominic, deeper, faster. Talk dirty to me, Dominic, you can talk. Ouch, oh, ouch, oh, ouch, ouch, don't, ouch. Oh. Stop, ouch, 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 don't, don't, stop, don't, stop, 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 Rub against my shivering flip. Go, 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 go. Rock that old man in the boat, Dominic. Oh, oh, Mr. Ed, Mr. Ed, I think I love you, Mr. Ed. Oh, 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 I'm coming. I see fireworks. Oh, I see fireworks. I smell smoke. Get off me. Get off, Dominic. Oh, get off. Oh, get him off. Oh, get him off. Oh, oh, oh. What a gooey mess. Everyone go with it, Kate. Go with it. Now get out. I am today. Made? Me. Actors aren't made. Actors and idiots are born. Uh -huh. Actors and idiots have children like you, too. <laughs> How could you do this piece when you know what the National Endowment for the Arts Oh, honey, that's exactly why I did it. I can't smear myself with chocolate. I'm not beautiful like Harry Finley. <laughs> <laughs> I saw her make a tit sandwich once, but these ain't real. I don't want to tell you anything. I bought them. They come in different sizes. <laughs> and I wasn't lucky enough to be born a lesbian like Holly Hughes. <laughs> so I have to do what I do. And you know what I'm talking about. Oh, honey, that was a heterosexual act. <laughs> that horse had genitalia, it was male, and I am obviously a woman. <laughs> so it's got to be all right. Listen, you want to see gay art, you go over to the public theater. <laughs> yeah. There you will see living in the flesh heterosexual men play faggots and they'll make you cry, feel sorry for them. <laughs> you come over here, you'll see a real live living uh, non-heterosexual faggot play a woman and all I can do is make you laugh. I'd rather make you laugh. That's the difference. This is my kind of theater. You don't see homoerotic art in my dramas ever. <laughs> <laughs> who wants to see that garbage? What do you mean, who wants to see it? Your mother's still here. Hello, Mrs. Tabby. <laughs> she could have left. Come on, show me something nice. <clears throat> nice. Nice. Nice, sir. <laughs> My son, the right wing lunatic. <laughs> Where have I gone wrong? Nice art, you want nice art, nice art. Here we go. Nice, you want nice, I'll give you nice. Ladies! Nice art. <laughs> oh, why, that's nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> They're all graduates 
Prince of the School of Gargoyles. <laughs> <laughs> in here somewhere. I know, I'll find it. Here we go. We're four little flowers growing in the woods. We wave in the breezes and we are so very good. To all and a sundry we nod our little heads. We flirt Butterflies who kiss us in our beds. I'm a little sunflower basking in the rays of souls of great life giver. I face him all the day. I give him my attention. He smiles, brings back to me. He tells. That I'm lovely till I giggle and tee hee. <laughs> Nice. 
I can't take it. I'm beginning to regret my birth. Oh, give me some insulin. My heritage. Yeah, I'll give you more insulin. How embarrassing being your son. And vice versa. You are trash, Olga. Your parents were pig farmers from Kush. So what's wrong with that? Well, then you got married below your station. Oh, oh, yeah. uh, I never and married him. No easy job finding that trashy poet with political pretension. That's your daddy you're talking about. Oh, besides, it was down here from their girlfriend. <laughs> besides, you couldn't act your way out of a paper babushka, you old bag. I resemble that remark. <laughs> <laughs> you are fatuous and debunctuous. I got words for you, Petunia. Petunia? I'm leaving once again this time. You call me good. girlfriend, I call you Petunia. I'm leaving for good this time. Yeah, go, go. Just now wait a minute. Shut up and sit down. Oh, get that chair. Get that chair out from in front of those loving people. And go sit where you belong. Up where Mama put that chair. Now sit down. What kind of son is that, right? <clears throat> you asked to see my great roles. This is all your fault. I have another one, you know. This is the end. Fierce, Masha, quick, restrain my wayward son. Hold him down. Restrain him, that's it. Go. No, 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 restrain him. Don't entertain him. Look the other way again. <laughs> Hold him down. Time tied. Shame done. Make him lovely. Oh, that's it, that's it. <laughs> Oh, now, Vaslav, my beloved son, you demand that I relive the past. I didn't want to do it. You made me do it. But I know I can still do it. I'm not too old, I tell you. I've called upon, I could still play a 12-year-old. <laughs> Once again, you'll be sorry, you'll fall right out of your chair, you'll be so impressed. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or if thou wilt not be but sworn to love, now no longer be a Capulet. Is on my face. The warmth of night is on my ass. No, no. Uh, 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 Romeo, Romeo, wherefore? Art? Get the hook. What play is this? Where am I? Who is I'm this? not going to stand here and watch you destroy the remains of your career. What remains? Ask the New York Times what my career is worth. <laughs> After three penny opera, I might as well have given up. <laughs> oh well. Some critics like me. Michael Feingold was nice to me. <laughs> but then Ross Sweatstone, or whatever his name is of the voice, called me an eye averting embarrassment. <laughs> I'm just trying to live up to my press. <laughs> No, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> Ophelia! She's dissembled. Ophelia! Dissemble, 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 dissemble. Where am I? It's the actor's nightmare. <laughs> what, what is going on all around me? Oh, Vossal, I know your mother will die young. She was born under the sign of the burning Hesperides. And her mercury has been in retrograde too long. Besides, she has the diva's craving for red meat. Not conducive to long life. <laughs> oh, oh, I died. I died. Ah! Who are you? Who are you? Ah, the other way, you're scaring me. What play is this? Who am I? I got. <laughs> I forgive everyone. <laughs> but I don't think everyone's going to forgive me. <laughs> no! No! Oh, no! No! Whoa! Thank <laughs> you.
I told her not to read her own reviews. <laughs> She's gone for good this time. She who has carried heavy Russian burdens to the grave. May she sit beside the banks of the Lino River and be happy. Evil. It is evil what Olga perpetrated in the many theatrical seasons before she died. Oh, peace, Tashirina. Olga was a camp. The old girl knew how to leave. The truth. It is time to speak the truth. Yes, Vaslav is Olga's cherished son, but too cherished. And what is more, oh, shame, ah, shame. Nina is Olga's child, too, gotten tween the sheets by Olga with Vaslav, her own son. <laughs> <laughs> Nina is cursed. She bears the vile stigmata of incest and shame. Inbred, half-witted child who mutilates herself to atone for others' crimes. <coughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Sad sister theorist. I wouldn't have believed it if I read it in Pravda. You won't read it in the newspaper. You won't hear it on the street. You must go to the library, for it is a gothic tale. The birds! The birds! My babies! The sweetest! Hummers this side of the vulgar. Someone or something has cut out all their little tongues. Sweet innocence have suffered once again in this damned house of shame. What's this? What's this? Olga? Olga? Olga has died! Esta muerta Inska! Oh! I can bear it no longer! If 
by fainting, by accident. Well, maybe then I'll cry. <laughs> you were such a good mama, mama. You answered my every request. You taught me all I know. It's so. You taught me incest was best. <laughs> Just be done, your mama, my lover and my friend. I'll cherish your sweet memory until I reach the end of the strange life I'm leading. I know I've been a beast, but when I'm gone, it's famine, and when I'm here.